Welcome back everybody, a bit of a short break, but we are back for our second game of the doubleheader. We have Saints of RC taking on Akron University, a very, very strong team and a very, very important matchup for both sides. Right, I mean, University of Akron, they are nothing to be meddled with. Tristan Bullseye and Patty, some of these names might feel familiar and that's because these guys were recently on the qualifier two of NARLCS. They did make top 16. So all three of these players coming off of a win against, I believe, Ole Miss as well off them last week. They are 3-0 so far this season. They are going to be a very tough matchup for our varsity team to deal with. Without a doubt, but 30 seconds in, nothing too crazy happening just here. It's gonna be Bullseye on the attack and, oh, just miss it on the line. But Tristan is gonna be there for the followers. University of Akron. Kind of from nothing, find something. Bullseye gonna fly through the air there. Gonna pass to himself off the crossbar. Tristan planning the finish. St. Clair College fall one behind early. The beautiful air dribble over the one defender, then instead of the backboard touch to let the pass come through, it is going to be Akron scoring first. A beautiful setup play from them as St. Clair needs to try to clear out of the backfield. It is going to be Spoots to try to do just that, but the overwhelming pressure from Bullseye and Patty is going to come through. Tristan finding the oh. drop down pass, and it's going to be Bullseye. And now you kind of see what I was talking about earlier. These guys are no joke. Amazing players all in their own rights. You see the tag CRL 2023 world. I believe it was either contenders or champs. It was definitely something good. You know it is when you have those like gold or, or yellow letterings. You just know it's something very important. Bullseye able to find the hit off the corner, trying to find the 50 off of Christian. The clear does come through, hopefully from Spoods. It's going to be just that, but not the best touch. And it is going to be Patty putting it back through to Vash. Tristan with one touch. Can he try to beat the defender? He was able to get it by Vash, but now off the corner, St. Clair has to try to find the clear out. It's going to be Spoods, but you got to watch out. Short touch from Bullseye getting the Arsenal. Flip reset, did he get it? No, not quite. The backflip though over to Christian with the clear. Very slow, methodical, and yet dangerous gameplay coming up from Akron. They're oh, very no. patient. They're oh. using their passes so well. Amazing save from Spoods off of the 50, but it's going to be Tristan to put it through yet again. The foot, oh, was that like a sideways wave dash from Bullseye <laughs> just to recover? I mean, everything these guys do is just so, you know, tactical. It's so clean. It's very, uh, the flow that they have is just incredible. And that is why they're up in front right now by three. Just the ability to kind of have that clean gameplay. It kind of feels like they're just kind of water right now, moving around St. Clair as this sort of rock in the stream. So Bullseye trying to find the flip. He is going to have it on the ball, use it to dash and find the 50. Patty with a soft touch has to try to force a 50 oh. on to Vesh. And he's going to do just that. Beautiful play from Patty RL. And he's going to find the goal. Soft touch. And like I said, played off the 50. Absolutely beautiful. Spoods not able to find the save. And you could definitely see University of Akron are as good as advertised, scoring four goals in two minutes against the Saints. Great play from them so far, but if you're pound Saints, you're gonna have to see something turn around here. It's gonna be yet another attack from Bullseye, and it just looks like University of Akron had this non-stop pressure. Saints are struggling to even get out of their own half. As the clear's gonna come out from Patty Christian's gonna be there for the self-pass off the wall, but there's gonna be a counter-attack here coming up from University of Akron. Bullseye having a bit of an over fly there. He's gonna pass it to the middle. Vesh is gonna be there for the save of Saints finally have some breathing room, but as I see that, Tristan finds a demo, and it's going to be Patty flying through the air. Christian's going to be able to find a touch there, but Bullseye is going to pat it into the corner. The clear is there from Spoos, but Patty is there in the air. Bullseye is going to leave it as the pass comes out from Patty, but Tristan just won't be able to get on top of the end of that one, but University of Akron just keeping possession up four goals. Going to get a fifth one right yeah, there. Like Beautiful team play comes out from Tristan and Bullseye. The drop down pass from Bullseye and the bump from Patty as well is so crucial. It puts Spoots up high and he's not able to find the read. Bullseye with literally the best placement you could ever ask for off of that shot. Does not waste any boost whatsoever. Finds the absolutely beautiful angle. St. Clair can't do anything about it. The challenge from the corner of Vesh is going to come through. Spoods with the challenge of his own. Able to just kind of stall the defense. Christian has to make a pass. Hopefully to Spoods is going to be cut out though by Patty. And now it is going to be St. Clair that needs to regroup and they need to kind of reconsider their attacking motion, their attacking game plan. It hasn't worked out just yet. The ball has kind of seemingly stayed in the blue half this entire game, it feels like. 
And right now, University of Akron oh, not that trying that. to slow down on the gas pedal. They continue to lay on the pressure. Without a doubt, a minute 45, Saints. I don't even know if they have a single shot on target this entire game. University of Akron definitely showing why they are one of the best teams out there. That's going to find a little bit of a clearance there, but both that's going to be there for the contest. It's Patty. He's going to take it up in the air, see what he can get done in the air here. Spoods should be able to find that clearance there. Saints get some breathing room and maybe have a chance of their own. Bash going to look for a shot here in the middle. There's not going to be too much power on that one as it's kid away by Patty right off the cross. There's Spoods going to go for a quick shot there, but Patty finds the save it again. Christian going to look for the cross. Spoods looking for the shot on target, but yet again, it's just over the crossbar. Saints just cannot find that first goal. It's going to be Christian with a good shot. This should be finished, but no! The Saints, they off a double commit. I really thought that should have been the goal. Thankfully for them, Spoots will be able to clean it up. Look at it again. This Whoa. cannot happen. Chris bumping Desh out of the way. They're in shambles. Spoots was just playing a little bit more calm, collected. He's able to sink this one through. But wow, I mean, even with that goal, uh, I'll be honest here, with a minute left, it's looking like nothing short of a miracle is required here for the Saints to get back into it. The flip reset though down, just to try to force out the defender. It is going to be Spoons on the fake yet again. Vesh able to just kind of pop it up. He was looking maybe for the bump, but what awareness, brilliant from Bullseye. He knows the ball's dropping down, so he drops back onto the corner and a beautiful save from Vesh, squishy save possibility, but the shot is high. I believe it was 50 out. Drop down pass to absolutely no one, and it should be Spoots to get a lick onto this ball, but it's not going to happen. Tristan with the clear out. Christian, oh. can you finish there? No, that is one that you absolutely need to have, but the defender was doing a good job to make Christian have to speed up and not think about placement the air dribble the save coming through and right now it seems like University of Akron will take this game one in what is a very dominant showing absolutely and uh, you know there's only a one bright spot for the Saints here is they have a scored the last goal in this game maybe something to look forward to towards the next game they already were down five but finding that one goal could really be something that uh, turns their tide around but as you said, University of Akron, just absolutely dominant performance, just taking a 5-0 lead and not letting the foot off the gas pedal. Saints really need something cru something crucial to turn around here in game two. Right, and I mean, it's just so hard to deal with these guys. The drop-down passes, I mean, they were going for like Arsenal flip resets into, into passes as well. When I say this Akron team is a contender for what should be like the next CRL season if this team sticks together, these guys are like top of the top making top 16 for all CS. I mean, these guys literally have played against some of the top pro teams and found somewhat of a good result. Of course, they didn't do too good in that qualifier, but the whole point is they made it. And to make top 16 in a region, especially for a collegiate team, it's something that's not usually seen. So you have a lot of talent right now on this roster, and you could technically label these guys, since they have made and competed in a top uh, tournament, you could label them as pro talent. But St. Clair starting off very strong. It is going to be the team bump that does come through. Bullseye hitting the bump on a Christian. A little bit of a weird rotation. Christian able to follow through and finds the shot. St. Clair up 1-0, and this is the start that they need in order to kind of find some momentum, find something to build off of. Akron trying to not let them have that at all. A beautiful pass from Tristan, but Patty is going to be denied on the back wall. Finding the drop down pass to Bullseye, pass to oh Tristan again. Deke Zaka coming through from Akron, and it's looking so good right now. Vesh with the clear out. It is going to be Bullseye challenged up by Spoods. But so far, oh! overwhelming pressure coming through from Akron. And just as I say that, the Saints turn it around. It's going to be Christian with an absolute laser through the back of the net. Just puts it under Tristan. Tristan did think that was going to be up high. Thought Christian was probably going to make contact with it just after the bounce. But Christian positions himself to put it low instead. And Tristan had no idea what was coming. And in just a blink of an eye, Saints take a very, very early 2-0 lead. But we saw last game how dangerous University of Akron are. Saints definitely cannot relax and have to play at 150%. 
take this game here. Tristan's gonna go up for the air. Contest, they're gonna take it over Spoods. Christian's gonna have to find the save, and he does. Bullseye, though, coming in from the corner. We'll find the shot on target. Vesh, beautiful save there. Patty's gonna look for something 50 50 there. Tristan's gonna look for the cross himself. A Spoods is there for the save. Tristan's gonna pass it back over to Patty. He's gonna pass that one up to Bullseye. Gonna get it over both double defenders. Hit, Patty is gonna find it, and as you said, the double commit was just not played well by the Saints, sending two members there and not getting a touch on the ball means a certain goal for University of Akron. Right, I mean, it's just sad because on the double commit you would hope one gets the bump, maybe the demo, and the other one can get the ball, but they both went for the same exact thing, none of them going for the ball at all. And you just kind of see why sometimes these little plays kind of do get lost in translation when you're in the moment. University of Akron finding no shortage of comms though as they do look to be so fluid on the attack. They are down by a goal though and they really do need to start upping the pressure here if they want to get back in it. Saints trying all they can to hold or put another goal up on the board. It's going to be tough though. Sure, Akron sort of has their play figured out a little more on the side of what should we be doing and I think their answer is simply cutting rotation, creating overwhelming pressure just as Bullseye is there. Yeah, I mean, Akron are playing so, so aggressively, and there's going to be the shot from Patty, like a laser, going to go over his teammate's head, and it's going to be a 2-2 two, two game, just like that. Saints able to find a couple goals early, but Akron showing why they are such a strong team, able to bounce back in just a minute and make this a 2-2 two, two game. Now, I wouldn't count the Saints out of it just yet, though. I know it's been looked pretty dominating on the uh, half of Akron, but with the tied up scoreline, you can say as the demo does come through, that was a very good double. demo and a double as well from Patty. The Saints right now, when they get out into Akron's back half, if they do get there, they make their opportunities count. They are troubling them. They are sending some shots low that Akron cannot deal with. I mean, they've caught them slipping a couple of times. You could even argue that Christian should have had a goal earlier and they should be up 3-2 right now. So St. Clair is not playing bad at all. They are competing for sure. And they're doing a good job on defense to stop definitely what has been an overwhelming Akron attack. It's going to be Christian off the sidewall, chain dashing just to try to find the corner, but he's going to get sent out by Tristan. The shot just wide from Spoods. He's going to want to have that one back. The dribble almost around Vesh, but he is going to be able to pick up just enough. Sets to the sidewall. Christian, 24 boost. Has to cancel out of his flip, though, and try to go for the bump. The pass down to Spash. He has one touch, but the slow play will be read out, and Bullseye will be looking for a 50 here or a bump on his boots. Flip reset from Spoods, looking to elect to use it early. Tristan with the challenge. He's going to find the better end of it. And now, St. Clair have a little bit of a two-on-one going through, but Patty RL just simply staying calm and composed is going to find the clearance. Yeah, with two minutes left, tie game. Anyone could take the second one. Christian on the attack, and that should be a goal, but what a save from Tristan coming out there. Coming out of nowhere, another dangerous opportunity from Vesh, and the shot on target from Spoods will be good. St. Clair College taking a swift 3-2 lead as they look to take the second game. Right, I mean, they had them awkward. They had them right where they wanted them. It's been ever since St. Clair is able to find that first goal. They've noticed if we can keep these guys on the ground, we can make them awkward. Don't get me wrong, the aerial play is definitely nothing short of brilliant from Akron as Patty tries to find, hopefully, his third goal off the ceiling. It's not going to happen. The bump from Vesh was just good enough to disrupt the play. Bullseye with a touch onto the corner. Can he find a pass down to Tristan? Pinch almost, but it's going to be saved out from Vesh. Shot from Patty RL, and there we go. He has the hat trick. Patty Patty on the board, and now he can just chill as he knows that he has this game all tied up. They can try to stay calm. They can try to hold. Most importantly, with a minute 26, they have enough time to really start to focus on if they want this lead or not. St. Clair, same goes for them. They need to try to find something now to initiate this offense. It's going to be a awful touch there from the, I believe St. Clair defender, but I, I don't know. I think he more or less lost a 50, so not really his fault. Spoods with the drop down pass now to Vesh. He's going to have one touch trying to play Hattie Patty in the corner, <laughs> but it is going to be Vesh with getting demo. demoed. Bullseye is going to find two again. That's the second double demo of this entire game. And I believe that was either a musty or a breezy flick. I didn't get to see it off. It was just kind of cutting to the camera too soon. But an absolutely amazing flick over to try to create some pressure. Tristan trying not to let this ball go by the wayside. He is going to keep it into the blue half. Trying to challenge Spoods in the ceiling. Can anybody get in front of Patty? He should have the touch on the corner, but it is going to be Christian. 
Good play to play it slow and low. Patty finding a demo on the Spoods. The touch will be found out, but with the defender on a lot of boost, or sorry, never mind. No, zero now is Vash. Challenges coming through everywhere and a huge clear and some time hopefully to collect boost for St. Clair. 30 seconds left. Vesh is going to be able to clear that one up. Tristan's going to be able to find the save and he's going to look to pass it to his teammate. But Spoo's going to find a clearance. Vesh going to get the demo as well. Christian going to get a crucial touch. Bullseye's going to pass it over to Vesh. So it's going to be some time to recuperate. But 13 seconds left. Bullseye wins a crucial challenge there, but won't be able to find anything. And Vesh with eight seconds left flying through the air will look for the shot there. But Patty will be there for the save. Five seconds left. Four seconds left. Uh -oh. It's going to be a counter attack from Patty. One second. And left the ball's up in the air. Vesh finding a crucial save. Tristan pass. will pass it towards the middle, and Bullseye with zero seconds on the clock will find the game winner for University of Akron, who take a 2 0 lead in the series. An absolute heartbreak there. Vesh has to make a touch to try to keep it away from the attacker, but you just have to question if maybe we didn't see his angle, but could he have maybe have just grounded it, taken the chance, sent it to OT? He likes to keep it up in the air. Now, whether he had to or not isn't the question. What we can say is that. Akron used it to the best. They had the players there, they had the boost. They figured, okay, if you can keep it up, we can find a pass off this sidewall. They have the shooter in the center and bullseye. And as his name entails, he puts an absolute bullseye straight through the middle of the Saints net. Up 2-0 now in the series. Saints, you have a lot to do right now if you want to get back into this one. Yeah, looking rough for the Saints, especially since they were able to take such an early, pretty easy 2-0 lead, kind of without any resistance last game. But just University of Akron showing why they are one of the best teams out there. We're, we're able to find the comeback as we're off in game three. It's going to be a good start for the Saints as they had a bit of a dangerous opportunity. The University of Akron playing so well on the defense. Vesh is going to look for a play of his own. Patty RL is there for the save, but Spoo's going to be on the follow-up. The shot is off target, though. That's one you have to get on target if you're Saints. But it's going to be Saints still on the attack. Spoo's going to take it around his defender. Patty RL is there, and there's no real firepower here. University of Akron, though, have no boost, so it's going to be Saints. We're going to continue this pressure but the clear comes out and this is going to give University of Akron some time to relax here and look for an opportunity of their own then there it is Christian having to save that one out beautiful shot from Bullseye but it's going to be a clearance yet again from the Saints as Christian gets up in this corner that shot looks nice and on target but the save will be there from Patty back into the middle to Christian but that's off target as Tristan is there and University of Akron are just finally getting back on the defensive end but Saints are putting on the aggression. Right, just as you say that though, Akron doing such a good job of just going back onto it. 1v1 now as Vesh can have the ball. He needs to try to force a 50. The ball just got away from him a little too far. Couldn't really try to go for a flick or an air dribble starter. Spoons with the flip reset over one. Can he find the double? No, not quite. Saved out just enough by Tristan. He just got the disruption that he needed to to break up the play. Bullseye with the demo as well will give Akron some time to clear out. But they have no boost again. St. Clair with the steal in the back corner and the demo comes through. This should be a quality chance now for them as it soon should come because again, Akron, they don't have very much in the tank. They might have enough to clear it out now though. And where's Bullseye? That's the question. He has 100, same with Tristan. They have to be the men to start this attack back up. They're gonna elect to do just that 50 in the corner. Hopefully the drop down pass. No, not quite going to elect to just kind of leave it in the center, faking it out, trying to get a Saints defender to bite. But it is going to be a play over from Vesh Spoots. Should have the double red out, but it was a really good job by the Akron defender of just trying to force Spoots to make the shot 10 times more difficult as he had to put it under. Will the demo get beat out though? No, Bullseye just able to make it back in time for the save. And a beautiful start to this defense now from both sides of the field. Yeah, this has been an amazing game so far. Neither team really making any mistakes, but Tristan, oh my goodness, no, great move there, but the follow-up's not there from Patty. The bullseye is there, but Vesh is gonna be able to find that save. Great defense from the Saints there, standing resilient, and nice little shot off the crossbow there for Christian, but the follow-up won't be found there. Patty now on the counter-attack, gonna look for a one-on-one -on -one over Spoods here. Won't be able to find it though. Great defense from Spoods, and Vesh will be there to cover his back and clear that one out. It's gonna be Saints on the counter this time, but it's gonna get tipped out towards the middle. Patty RL gonna look for a bit of a touch, an awkward one at that, but the 50 will go towards the side. University of Akron, Vesh having a dangerous opportunity there, could have maybe found a chance there, but the Akron are standing solid defensively. Spoo is going to be flying through the air, trying to pass that one off to a teammate, but Tristan will find a save, and I think it's a 2 on opportunity for Akron, but Vesh able to get back just in time. Two minutes left, and we're still goalless in the third game. Right, and Christian should have a really good pass or a shot here. It is going to be the pass that he likes to go for, but it is going to be cut out by Akron. Tristan running interference, bullseye with the fake on to the first shot, going to go for the second challenge, gets the 50 pass, but Christian is able to go back out, and you have to wonder, that was an open net, 
Maybe if Christian takes just slightly a little more time or maybe a little more of a second to realize exactly what he had there, he would have been able to put it on target. But right now, as all players are kind of locked in this dead battle at 0-0, you have to assume most of these guys are just reacting based off instinct now. Game plan has kind of gone out the door and players are just kind of going through what they know through their mechanics, through their muscle memory. It's games like these where it really does come down to it. Saints on the verge of losing the series and they need to try to find something offensively to get it going. Without a doubt and with a minute left, either team, if they're able to find that goal, could be the one to wrap up this game. It's going to be University of Akron on the attack here. Bullseye and Christian in a bit of a 50-50 there. Christian's going to be able to come out on top of that one and look for a pass forward to maybe Patty. Crucial touch there over Vesh. The clearance should be coming out in Akron. All three members on this attack. Bullseye having a one-on-one -on -one opportunity there and will be able to find it's Spoos trying to find the clearance, but just too much pressure of University of Akron as they go up 1-0 with 49 seconds left. And I must say, the person who starts this all off, Tristan, avoids the bump from Christian. Great awareness there to find the ball into the middle for the pass down to Bullseye. Bullseye does the rest. He knows he can just play the 50 onto Spoos. Does it beautifully. Puts up Akron 1-0 with only 45 seconds left. The fake coming in from Christian. Does Spoos have enough boost to get this going? It's going to be the interference right off the ceiling, but I don't think they found it. Oh Smooth's able to dribble through two, finds the shot, but it is going to be slow and easily saved out from Bullseye. The wave dash to regain control from Besh. Does he have the sidewall read? Oh. It should be a shot on target. It is going to be Tristan, though. I don't believe it was quite going in. The bump from Besh, but the save from Patty. A beautiful play there by St. Clair, but the defense holds up from Akron. You had to think that was going to be their chance. And now with only about 10 seconds left on the clock starting soon, St. Clair really need to try something beautiful and almost have a miracle to get the goal going. It is going to be a high ball. It is going to be Spoods running interference. He has the bump with one second left. They have to keep this in the air. Vesh with not too much left in the tank. Tristan with the kill. A beautiful touch to put it just behind Christian. And it is going to be University of Akron taking the 3-0 sweep. Yeah, very good performance from Akron Saints, making those last two games very, very close, but just could not take one down. Definitely a lot to improve of from this game, playing one of the best teams and putting up a pretty resilient battle, especially in those last two games. Saints going to have a lot to work on after this one, but... Uh, that's going to be it for us uh, today. We had a doubleheader. We had our academy team take on Kentucky University White, I believe. And they were able to find the 3-2 victory in a very, very close series. And just now we watched our Saints varsity team take on Akron University. And unfortunately, we're not able to take that one and fell 3-0. Right, but, you know, honestly, even though it was a sweep, St. Clair played so good in games two and three. You have to give them, you know, Shoutouts for competing at that level. I mean, I was saying, you know, all night long, Akron, such a good team, debatably top 16 in North America as well. They have made that spot before. So you have to kind of think that the Saints, with their new roster gelling together still, it is their first season playing together, you have to, you know, give their, uh, give their uh, con contributions credit because they did make the series a fun and entertaining one even though it was a 3-0 sweep for Akron. Without a doubt, with all that said, let's start wrapping it up. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We have Tim Horton, Subway HyperX, SRC, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair alumni. Uh, we want to say thank you to everyone in the back who made this broadcast possible. Make sure you guys follow all of our social medias to keep up to date with all latest Saints stuff. We have a Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, anything you could think of. We post Saints updates early uh, every single day. And tomorrow we have uh, action. Overwatching COD. Overwatching COD starting at 7 p.m. tomorrow. So I'll be don't, there. you'll be there. I'll be playing the Overwatch game. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Don't go anywhere. Thank you for watching. It's been me, Theo, alongside Patrick. And have a good night.